All right, so this trip is going to be a one-day trip targeting fluke and sea bass off the coast of Nantucket. Uh, the boat that I'm going to be on for this trip is going to be the Monomoy. It's a part of the Helen H. fishing fleet out of Hyannis, Massachusetts. For this trip, I'm going to be using anywhere from 16 to 24 ounces uh, for sinkers, and both rigs are going to be a, a high-low rig tip with a Berkeley gulp and possibly a little bit of uh, fluke belly or uh, squid strips. I don't know. I can't tell. This might be a dog. Yeah, then again, what do I know? Say, I knew there was some. I, I knew there was something familiar about you. I couldn't yeah. remember. We were you got us to talk right after yeah. me and my buddy John left, didn't you? Yes. You know what? And I did pretty well. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Isn't that funny? That's funny. Yeah, small world, isn't it? It is. I think I might have it. Now, at this point in the trip, I did um, make a small change to the tackle that I was using. Um, the current was really ripping at this point, so I put on, it was either a 20 or a 24 ounce sinker, and I put on a high-low rig that had two blades on the end of it. Um, it was kind of meant to give it a little more action in the water when the, uh, when the current was really ripping through there, and it looks like it did have some good results um, on the trip here. I did notice that um, I ended up getting some good sea bass on this rig, but did make a slight change to what I usually use um, as opposed to the, uh, the high-low rig with two glass minnows, but um, did have some good luck with this one at this point in the trip. And as you can probably tell, um, this uh, lady and I had met one other time before. We were both fishing off of a jetty early, or um, I think the year before, for Tatog. Um, and we uh, we uh, recognized each other when we got on the boat this time. So pretty funny, uh, small world, especially uh, especially in the fishing community. Um, you do seem to uh, to meet people, and you'll meet them uh, more than once uh, when you're when you do this for a while. Um, but yeah, I, I, it turned out to be a fairly fairly good spot. Yeah. Are you still part of the uh, oh, yeah. part of the uh, 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 part of the u
So for this trip, we were primarily targeting some of the bigger fluke off Nantucket, um, but we did run into quite a few sea bass on this trip, so definitely not going to complain about catching a sea bass like this. Um, the limit in Massachusetts is uh, four sea bass per person at 16 inches per person, and uh, a lot of these fish that I'm bringing up here were well over that 16 inch limit, so definitely not going to complain about getting fish like this, um, even if it's not uh, exactly what we're targeting. when you get a second. I gotta get up when you go, suck Sam.
Michigan Sam, but when you get a chance. <laughs> I know, I'm surprised too. <laughs> oh, jeez. Another seat. Oh, wow. Wow. That's what I have to try for. Uh, oh, yeah. oh, man. They don't have a flute to trade for that one. And that's going to be the last one that I ended up getting on video uh, for this trip here. That last sea bass was right around 21, 22 inches, so it was definitely the highlight of the trip to get a, to get a sea bass in that range. Um, end of the day, with the uh, limit on sea bass, I uh, traded away uh, one of the smaller ones for a fluke fillet, so had about two or three uh, fluke on the in the cooler on the way home. So all in all, I say it was a very good trip. Uh, big thank you to the captain and crew of the Monomoy. Um, for anyone that hasn't uh, done this trip before, I would highly recommend it um, at a high end of Massachusetts. So, um, yep, that's going to be it for this video. Uh, thank you all for watching, and hopefully we will see you out on the water.